Ian Ladd here today with Jesse Painter. Um, today we are going to be discussing his shop now in Ortonville, Brandon, uh, Little Knickknacks Country Store. Um, anything you would like to talk about your store? Yeah, we just opened up in uh, April, me and my wife. My wife's name's Lisa Painter. Uh, we were down here last year at a couple of events downtown Ortonville and fell in love with the downtown, so we decided to open us up a little shop. So there's no specific reason you guys chose Ortonville or you just love the place? No, because we fell in love with downtown Ortonville. Okay. Yeah. Um, we live in Goodrich. Yeah. Uh, your store you're having, uh, your price points you told us are a little lower than the average. Uh, you want to elaborate on that? Yes. Uh, we decided to keep our prices down so that residents and, and people coming through town uh, would come more frequent and shop and, and talk to us, you know, and get to know each other uh, more so than, you know, just making a big profit. We'd rather spend time talking to people and getting to know them. And, you know, we've had people come in and purchase three or four things and they've told us that Normally they would just purchased one or two, but because we've kept the prices down for them, they can, you know, afford to get a little bit more. Um, are there any uh, best-selling items you guys have? Yes, we have uh, distressed hats that have different sayings on them. That's one of our best sellers, and uh, women's vests that they'll put over a shirt or a blouse uh, to make them a little bit fancier dressed. That's another number one seller. We've been there. Uh, a little over three months now and both of those we've had to order 10-12 times and we just keep running out of them and have to keep bringing them in. Yeah. And the clothing is getting bigger and bigger and that's why we've already remodeled the back section and added on back there which we were not planning on using that for mm -hmm. merchandise but now we are because we've had so many people yeah. asking for it. So why did you decide to open it? Well, we had been down here for a couple different events and we fell in love with downtown Ortonville and uh, me and my wife both have always been, you know, entrepreneurs, so um, I own my own wood floor business and we decided to start the store and, uh, you know, maybe one day I can retire out of the wood floor business and not be so hard on me and, you know, help her run the store. Concentrate on the store and get yeah. it. Yeah get everybody in the you know area knowing that we're open yeah that's a big hurdle getting everybody to know are you advertising any uh... a, l a little bit we've been running every few weeks in the citizen the local paper and do you have any uh, uh, signs up anywhere or? uh for when there's events we'll put them up okay. you know at the street corners and that uh, we've been handing out some flyers at different events and even run around and handed some out in mailboxes and that trying to get her name out there but it'll take time okay. all right so uh thank you for your time is there anything you would like to uh anything else you would like to talk about your business here uh i don't think so just to let everybody know we got a little bit of everything and we get new orders in two or three new orders every week so stuff's always changing come on down and see us all right. We're at uh, 431 Mill Street, Ortonville. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you.